Well, I think it's really important because uh, NASA and the government agencies have been focusing on access to space for the last, uh, you know, 20 years. Um, and really, they've taken a big shift from doing science and exploration in space to providing a, a lot of infrastructure in order to access space. And the governments just are, have their hands tied and they, they can't do that efficiently. So it's important that the commercial um, sector get involved and provide that access to space so that so that NASA and the other agencies can really get back to doing uh, science and exploration. Yeah, so now we're standing at the White Sands out in New Mexico, quite near to the Spaceport America facilities. Yes. How, how are you involved in that project? So Virgin Galactic is going to be operating uh, from Spaceport America. Uh, we will be the, the lead tenant there and um, all of our initial commercial operations will fly out, out of Spaceport America. Uh, the state has been wonderful and put in a lot of money to building new facilities there. We work very closely with them to, uh, to design those facilities to make sure that, that we can operate as effectively as possible from there. And then once we've started up commercial operations in this beautiful area, um, We'll be looking at, at touring uh, operations in other other parts of the globe. Uh, you know, when you're looking at suborbital flights, um, the real difference for the flight itself is going to be what you're looking down on, or what portion of the Earth you're looking down on. And obviously, looking down on on, on White Sands and the local area around here is going to be very beautiful. But in order to give other experiences, we we would like to be able to go other places, um, such as Spaceport Sweden up in the uh, the Arctic Circle. Uh, you'll be able to see all the Norwegian fuel. Um, and all the mountains and all the ice and snow up there and um, it'll be a totally different experience which will be fantastic yeah they say that I have midnight sun in the summertime and polar nights yes. in winter you know and maybe we'll be able to fly into the aurora who knows <laughs>